And in today's video, we'll be answering your question, should you buy a second 16 gig kit of memory or buy a straight up new kit of 32 gigs of memory if you're planning to upgrade? And we're gonna go over the pros and cons of buying a second kit and also buying a straight up new kit. So let's get right into it. So if you guys did not know, I upgraded my memory from 16 gigs to 32 gigs. Now, if you didn't know, I used to have a single set of memory, meaning that I had two six of 18 gigs of memory, and I originally bought myself a second pair of 16 gig six. So you can see here's the first pair, and here is the second, of course. So that means I got myself 32 gigs just by using a total of four different 8-bit sticks. Now, there is a problem with this. Now, this is very situational, but sometimes it can happen. And I'm gonna explain it in just a second here, but let's go over the pros of actually just buying two different kits. First of all, saves you money. You don't have to go buy a whole new kit, a 32, and have the 16 laying around because that happens and that's ultimately the case when you do upgrade. Like you can see here, they're laying around on my studio. So that's kind of the problem. You save yourself some money and also you get to use all the things you paid for. Now. The con to this is sometimes your memory might not work with each other that you buy two different pairs for. And the reason for this is, is sometimes the silicon might just not act right together. Now, that is especially the case with these guys. Now, they are both two different pairs of silicon. Now, usually that wouldn't make too much difference. You put them together, it should work fine. But for this pair exactly, they acted weird, which wouldn't allow me to actually use the full 32 gigs or it wouldn't let my system load. So I decided just not to do it and just buy a new 32 gig kit. So that's just something I wanna kinda of glance over that yes, you can buy two different kits, but sometimes you may have silkins that might act up with one another, which make it so one of the kits won't actually work properly with the other one in order to give you that 32 gigs. Now, let's say you now buy yourself the 32 gigs of memory. This is all new. You're of course gonna have your leftover memory from the last time that you can save for later. Now, of course, this is gonna cost you some money and of course you're gonna have some sticks laying around, but ultimately your system's going to be working and you should have no issues now the question is what should you do with your extra memory you have laying around well you could save it for future right so if you're building maybe a front of pc or maybe you're gonna build yourself a pc down line for streaming or something like that save you two different systems because that is especially useful in various situations so you could do that now of course that is the pros and cons of having actually an e32 gig stick and of course i plan to do exactly that with these 16 gigs of memory down line i want to build two different pc systems for my friend and if you guys do want to see a pc build videos in the future then make sure to hit that like button and get subscribed and hopefully you guys did find this video interesting and did learn something new while i answered you guys this question but until then i'll see you guys for my tech video tech grant out